Question four. So what this means is to find a turning point, you differentiate and you find out when it's equal to zero. So if we differentiate this the first part, that's going to give me that's going to give me two x. Differentiating this part here, that's going to give me. I'm going to jump a little step here. It's going to give me 4x minus 4. That's derivative of this over 2x squared minus 4x plus 5. So what are we interested in? We're interested in when is this equal to 0. So let's have a little play with this. So plus 4x minus 4 over 2x squared minus 4x plus 5 equal to 0. Take away the 2x from both sides, multiply by this, and that gives you 4x minus 4 equals, so remember you've got minus 2x, and then you've multiplied by, by this bit here. I just jumped a tiny bit there. 2x squared minus 4x plus 5. Multiply that out. We get minus 4x minus 4. Multiply this lot over here. That minus 4x cubed um, plus 8x squared minus 10x. Bring it all back over to this side over here. And we end up with 4x cubed minus 8x squared uh, plus 14x and minus 4 equals 0. Half order that. Let's divide everything by 2 and we end up with that there. So there's the first part done. Right, so now part B. So let's have a little look. So basically we just need to repeat this, right? What does it mean? Right? It looks like it looks complicated, these, but actually they're kind of quite easy. Um, so what you've got to do is just stick in x1. Okay, so 4 multiplied by the first value that we're told just here. So 0.3 squared, and then take away 2, and then we've got 0.3 cubed. If you work that out. So x2 ends up being 0.3294. Make sure that you do the right number of decimal places. Working out x4, you just repeat this a couple of times. If you do it when you calculate it correctly, um, you can just go back in, you can just pop answer in there. So it just repeats itself a couple of times. And you should end up getting that figure just there. Okay, so the last part, it tells us that alpha is this. So it's saying, well, what interval should we use to show this answer? Well, basically, what it's telling you to do is that if we sub in 0 point, so let's come slightly either side of that. So imagine it's been rounded to three decimal places. So sub in this figure, sub in this figure just here. And what do you end up getting? Well, this figure will give us 0, 0, 00366. Six. Okay, and a bit more. And then this figure gives us minus point zero zero one three and, and a bit more. And basically there's a change of sign. There's a change of sign. So therefore alpha must be between these figures here. Hence equal to 0.341 to 3dp. 